Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Angel R. Talk, and today we're going to touch on mental illness. The city of New York, Boricua from the Bronx. <laughs> Recently, there was a situation in my neighborhood where, apparently, a mentally ill woman tried to start a fire. As I understand it, she was apprehended and taken into custody, and she was simply wearing a t-shirt. Now, I mentioned the t-shirt, and it's notable because apparently... And that was all she had on. And it was actually freaking cold that day. The question that I have is, what are we supposed to do as a society with people like that? Now, to be clear, I am talking about mentally ill people who pose a real threat and danger to society, like someone setting a building on fire. This also applies in a very large number to the homeless population. Now, I feel that I have to constantly clarify what I'm saying. I'm not saying everyone who's homeless is mentally ill, but there are many individuals who are. But let's just be clear on that. A lot of these folks are mentally ill. They are not bad people. They are not criminals. Now, what do you do when one of them continues to try and start a fire in your building. From what I was informed by the individuals downstairs, they said that this is something that happens all the time. She's always out here trying to start a fire. What do you do with that person? You don't want to infringe on their rights as an individual. You don't want to force them to take medication. You don't want to lock them up if they have some sort of mental problem. But when someone is trying to set a fire, in your building, they are a clear and present danger. And I believe she was apprehended, but I am not entirely sure about what happened, right? All I got was secondhand information from people who I may not consider extremely reliable. You know how every neighborhood has the person who likes to act like they know everything that's going on, but in fact, they don't know a damn thing. At best, these are rumors, but... Enough people know about the person and somebody entirely separate from the situation who wasn't even there said, oh yeah, I know about the lady who's always trying to set fires. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think that it's a very good thing to get a reputation as a fire starter. So we at least know that the lady of setting fires is real. And the information that I got from the individuals around the situation was, yeah, this woman was trying to set a fire and they caught her. She was almost naked. So the stories from two separate sources that don't know each other, weren't even at the same place or time, are consistent. So that being said, we can pretty much say with 100% certainty that there's a woman who lives across the street who likes to set fires. So what do you do in that situation? This person clearly has a history of a mental illness. But they are also a danger to society and themselves. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. If the only person you heard is you, then have at it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for helping people. But if they don't want help and the only person they hurt is themselves, have at it. But when you hurt other people, then we got a problem. Like, I Honestly, I don't know how we deal with that. I really don't know what we are supposed to do. All I know is that if you are a threat to my family, so if you're setting a fire next door to me, you're a threat. You can kill us. You can actually kill yourself and kill us and others in the building. You're a danger, like a legit, real danger. We ain't talking hypotheticals here. I mean, they shut down the block because of this woman. I know somebody who lives in the building and they told me that they had to put towels under the door to keep the smoke out. This is a legit, real, freaking life-threatening, dangerous situation that this individual is creating. So you can't be allowed to continue setting fires, right? I think that we can agree on that without, I don't want, I don't want to condone or or somehow promote taking away someone's freedom or locking them up or doing things against their will is not who I am. Though I must confess, I'm not a fan of being burned and cooked alive either. <laughs> but let's 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 establish some some facts, right? You 
have um, some form of mental illness and you are trying to set a fire in the building. You are a danger to all of the tenants in that building, yourself, the pets, the children, everyone. You can kill them, okay? Your mental illness, right? Your decision-making or lack thereof or however we want to describe it. I am not entirely sure on how we even explain that. But your mental illness, the actions that you take because of your mental illness could be the cause and ultimately responsible for the death of many, many innocent people that have nothing to do with what's going on. So clearly, you cannot be allowed to operate with impunity. Now, I believe that all of us, regardless of our political affiliations, our views, etc., can agree that a person who is actively setting fires in a building cannot be allowed to do so. Can we agree on that? You have to be stopped. Now the question then becomes, how do we do that? Setting a fire is a criminal act. Under normal circumstances, I would say throw you in prison, throw you in jail, and keep you there for whatever the maximum amount of time is, and punish you for arson. It's a crime. Don't get it twisted. There's some people out there who are just bad. They want to set fires. They want to kill people. They want to hurt people. Now, is it a... Is it a fair statement to say that every bad person is mentally ill? Nah, son. You don't get to play that. Some of y'all are just fucked up. But if the person is mentally ill, and in this particular case, as far as I understand it, they are, then that's not going to solve anything. That's not going to help anything or anyone. So what do we do? Do we then force you into a mental health facility? Do we commit you against your will? Do we drug you and, and force you to do stuff like that? Doesn't sit well with me. That doesn't sit well with me. But I also don't feel that if you have a mental illness, we should just throw you in jail or prison or whatever. But all the same, you can't just be allowed to have free reign out here setting fires, potentially killing people, destroying homes, destroying property, ending life. We can't allow that either. So what we do? The dilemma that we have as a society is figuring out how we deal with people who have this level of mental illness, who perhaps if they take medication or have counseling, or I honestly, I don't know what the solution is, but whatever it is, can be a functional member of society. Some people just need a helping hand. She lives in that building, so she must have some form of income. She must have some ability to function. So maybe on her meds, this person is perfectly fine. And we're not in the business of throwing people away. We're not in the business of locking people away. If a person can be helped, we should help them. But we cannot let them burn buildings down. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm saying is, we can't allow you to continue to set fires and potentially burn down the building someday. I don't think that prison is the place because your problem is the mental health situation. Uh, it's not your fault, right? You're mentally ill. I get that. So we have that. I also don't believe that we should be forcing people to take medications or forcing them into facilities and committing them. Like, I don't know what the solution is. If we could figure that out collectively as a society, we can probably solve not only this woman's problem, but a large portion of the homeless population's problem. Many of us cope with mental illness, depression, things of that nature. A lot of us do. And some people just don't have the support system. A lot of these people are out there because of mental illness. Everything that I said about this woman can apply to them as well in the street. Once again, I'm not saying every homeless person is mentally ill, but it cannot be denied 
that mental illness is a big contributor to homelessness. I had a guy swing on me once and I was going to lay this guy out and then I saw his eyes. When I made eye contact and looked into his eyes, I saw nothing. It was like his eyes were blank. And his eyes had no malice. It was no ill intent. It was just some form of gut reaction and he just swung and I don't know what it meant. I don't know. This guy wasn't malicious towards me. It, I don't know what was going on there. I don't think it would be right for me to beat the crap out of him, and I didn't. Don't get it twisted, though. I'm not going to let that guy hit me, though. You know, I did a little bob and weave action, and then when I was going to swing, and that's when I saw his eyes, and that's when I decided to just let it go. But I also don't think that it's fair to lock him up. So what do we do? Hmm, that's the million-dollar question. How do you deal with this without violating their rights? without being unfair but also protecting yourself in society so if we can find the answer to that i don't know who has the answer if there's somebody out there who has the answer to this thing what we can or should do or what can work to resolve this type of situation i'd love to hear it mental health is a serious thing on so many levels and if you try to burn down a building, you can't be allowed to do that. That's just not cool. That's not that cool, you say. Dude, it's freaking arson that can result in freaking death. Not cool. Right? You can end up killing people and we can't have that. We also should find a way to help you resolve that issue and be a productive member of society. The question is, how do we do that? And I honestly, I don't have the answer. I've given this a lot of thought and none of the answers sit well with me. So I don't know what the answer is. And if you have that, I sure as hell would love to hear it. Thanks for listening to the NYC Talking Podcast. I'll see you next time. You are listening to the NYC Talking Podcast. www.nyctalking.com Please like NYC Talking on Facebook. Please follow Angel R. Talk on Twitter and Instagram. We are NYC Talking, the realest lifestyle blog ever. Thanks for listening.